I'm John McConnell, and this is Overhead Image Factors for Underwater Sonar-Based SLAM. So first, let's talk about SLAM. SLAM allows us to estimate the vehicle state and map as we go. However, as the mission progresses, drift or error will accumulate in our state estimate. Loop closures are required to reduce drift. However, these are often trajectory dependent and often ambiguous. The research question in this work is, how can we utilize overhead images to reduce drift in our sonar-based SLAM system? First, on overhead images. They're free or very low cost from Mapbox and Google, and they come at a reasonable resolution between five to 10 centimeters, which is similar to sonar. Some key challenges for use, sonar, and RGB are totally different modalities. The difference in perspectives can create additional challenges when you consider the overhead image as a top-down view, where a sonar image is a water-level view. Also, the vessels may be in different locations between image capture time and mission execution time. The information provided to the vehicle a priori is a functional SLAM system, albeit with drift, an initial GPS fix before the vehicle dives, and a segmented overhead image, shown here in green. The segmentation identifies static structure that will be used as an aid to navigation in this algorithm. So conceptually, if we start at the red dot and move along some trajectory to our current state, and we overlay our sensor footprint on the green segmentation, we can say, what should I see? We can compare that to what we do see in our real sonar image, and then we can resolve the differences in appearance and find the transformation between them. So first, we're going to pull the candidate overhead image, shown here, top left in green with black background. That is, again, just the sensor footprint at our current state estimate. We also have a sonar image from our current time step, and we're going to push those together into UNET, which will output the magenta image shown under UNET. That is the candidate overhead image transformed into the sonar image frame. We can then use ICP between the candidate overhead image and the UNET output and roll that transform into our SLAM graph. On the left is an example of a simulated SLAM run. Green lines show odometry factors and red lines show loop closure factors. You can see even with loop closures, there's heavy drift. On the right, we add blue factors, which are the overhead image factors. You can see a drastic increase in SLAM mission quality, and we still utilize the existing factors in the SLAM solution. To highlight our points of novelty, our framework resolves the differences between overhead and sonar images and incorporates the overhead image factor into an otherwise functional SLAM system, reducing the SLAM drift. And we're also able to show that we can train in simulation and function on real data. Thanks for listening. This has been Overhead Image Factors for Underwater Sonar-Based SLAM.